In this video, we're going to look at solving story problems using the concept of consecutive numbers. Here's our first example. Brittany and Santana's ages are consecutive numbers. Santana is older. If the sum of their ages is 35, find the two ages. Before we tackle this particular example, let's look at some numbers that fit into this idea of consecutive. So consecutive numbers could be 1 and 2. Um, you know, 17 and 18, 101, 102, that would be a pair of consecutive numbers, but we could have any number of consecutive numbers. So if we had three consecutive numbers, we could just add the next number to each of these. So consecutive numbers are numbers that are just one unit or one value apart. Okay, so now let's take a look at our problem. It says that their ages are consecutive numbers, so we know that they're one year apart. Santana is older. If the sum of their ages is 35, find the two ages. So we can say, kind of stepping this into some algebra, we can say the sum of Brittany's age plus Santana's age is equal to, let's see, is, so that's my equal sign, so the sum is 35, equal to 35. So I really just took this phrase right there and change that into my equation. The sum, so here's their sum, is 35. Now I'm going to use the idea of these consecutive numbers. If I let Brittany's age just be represented by the letter B, then that means Santana's age would be B plus 1, consecutive numbers. So if I put these on a number line and B was here, the number that would be next, the next consecutive number, would be one more, and that would be Santana's age. So B plus the next consecutive number, B plus 1, equals 35. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just finish this off. I have two Bs, so I add that together and I get 2B plus the 1 equals 35. But I want Bs on one side, or whatever your variable is, and numbers on the other side. So I next subtract that one that's being added. So to undo it, I subtract. On the left, I have 2b. 1 minus 1 is 0. And on the right, I've got 35 minus 1, 34. Now I've got 2 times b. To undo that multiplication, and this is almost always our last step, to undo the multiplication and isolate the variable b, we divide by 2 on both sides. This tells me that b is equal to 34 divided by 2, which is 17. But I go back up and I read the problem. So if I go back up here and read the problem, it says find the two ages. Right now I just have Brittany's age. So this tells me that Brittany is 17. Santana is one year older. So I can put Santana here at 18, and I'll put a box around that because now that is my answer. Let's look at a second example. Here's our second example. The apartment numbers in Finn's building are consecutive numbers. So again, they're just one value apart. If the sum of Finn's apartment number and the next two neighbors, that would be Finn and then a neighbor and then a neighbor, is 168, find all three numbers. Well, I could put these on a number line, or I could go ahead and draw three apartment doors. So one, two, three. So if this, if this apartment, and it's not, but if this apartment number was one, that would be two and that would be three. If this apartment number was 500, this would be 500, 501, 502. But we don't know what those apartment numbers are. So let's just call the first apartment number N. And I know that I need to go one more to get to the next apartment number, so N plus 1. And then I need to go one more than that, which is N plus 2. If you want to really dissect that, that would be the N plus 1 plus one more. I think it's easier just to add one and then two and then three if you keep on going, but we just needed those first three. Okay, where's our equation? Here's an is, so that's going to be my equal sign. So the sum, so I'm going to add these up, of Finn's apartment, so this could be Finn's, and this would be a neighbor and that would be a neighbor. 
So the sum of these apartment numbers is 168. We're going to put that into an equation. So apartment number 1 plus the next apartment plus the next apartment. And I'm going to underline those so you can see how these are those three numbers. The sum is or equals 168. Okay, now I've got my equation, and I can go ahead and solve it. I'm going to collect my n's. I've got one, two, three of them. So I write that as 3n. 1 and 2 is 3, so 3n plus 3 is equal to 168. In this equation, I want n's on one side and numbers on the other side. So I'm isolating my n term, and that's that 3n. I have that 3 added, so I subtract it. And I get 3n, 3 minus 3 is 0. And over here, I get 168 minus 3, which is 165. And I end up with that same last step in the equation that I had in the last example. This is 3 times n. So I divide by 3, divided by 3. So I've got my n equals 165 divided by 3. And I get 55. That's not my answer. It asks for all three apartment numbers. So if I go back up to my picture, if this is 55, that was N, that makes the next apartment 56, and the last apartment 57. So I can write my answers as 56, 57, and oops, and um, here I'll put it on this side, and 55. I'll put a circle right around there for my answers.